Hey, welcome back. I've been talking a lot about the characteristic curve, so let's see how the whole thing goes together and how it all works. Let's get to it. So right now you're probably asking, how do I use all this stuff? And I'm going to talk a little bit about how you use all that stuff now, but, but we get, get into that in quite a bit of detail in Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. But just to give you a bit of an idea so that uh, we're not shooting everything off in the dark, uh, the way you use it is you look at your project that you're working on and you say, okay, well, where am I going to put all my highlights? And where am I going to put all the shadows? Where am I going to put all the midtones? Am I going to take all my midtones and run them up to the top of the curve? So I've got lots of detail falling up into the highlights, but I've got no blacks. Or am I going to take everything down to the bottom end of the curve where I've got lots of detail in the blacks and I've got nothing up in the highlights? Or am I going to stretch the whole thing out so that I've got lots of highlights with, a, with highlight detail and I've got lots of shadows with shadow detail? All, all questions that you've got, to, you've got to determine as part of your development of the visual style of the project and, and also on the requirements of the project. And when I, when I get into some examples later on, you'll see how I answer those questions uh, in terms of both my POV, my own personal visual style, and the visual style requirements of the, of the film. But carrying on with this, um, where, uh, other questions that you ask is, are you shooting it in log, raw, rec 709? And if you are shooting it in uh, log, where are you going to put your exposures? Uh, where are you going to put your normal exposure? If you're shooting it in Rec 709, where are you going to put it? And if you're shooting in all of those areas, how much control are you going to have in post-production? And where do you place all your values in order to get the best, uh, the best out of post-production? And one of the things I don't like doing is I don't like shooting and then going into post-production and having all my values stretched all over the place on the, on the curve. And the reason I don't like that is there's a price you pay and the price you pay is generally noise. And I don't want my images being stretched all over the place by a colorist, even though I may be in the, in the room with him. Um, I want my images to be as close as possible and really just to have uh, minor adjustments balancing shot to shot for color and density. Um, or maybe just snapping up the contrast a little bit or lowering it a little bit depending on what I need. But I want to make the plans for that in the shooting. I don't want to go into post-production and then be finding that uh, you know, I need to make all these changes. I want to have it all worked out ahead of time as part of my visual style and then go in so that I've got absolute control. And really that's what this is all about. Understanding the latitude and the and having your own POV uh, is all about you having total control over the image so that no one else is dictating how that, how that film is going to look. So in the, in the next video, I'll give you an example of, of uh, how we do that. Just a brief example, uh, and we'll use a Rembrandt painting and, and I'll just go through it really quickly to give you a rough idea. And then by the time we get to the end of chapter two and chapter three, you're going to have a, a very good grounding in what you need to do to understand the latitude and the characteristic curve of your camera, have a solid POV uh, that you can go into a, a project with, and have a really good understanding of who you are as a creative artist and your own visual style. But we'll get into that later on. Let's go into an example in the next video. Okay, if you like what you saw in this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, uh, click on the subscribe button down there so you get notified when uh, I upload new videos each Wednesday and Saturday. And if you've got any comments, be sure to put them in the comments section down below. I answer all the comments when, when I get uh, a chance. Uh, and once again, thanks for watching. See you soon.